What's up, YouTube? It's me, Demi, and we're gonna do our race rewards from Turmoil. Three, two, one, go! Wow, amazing! <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Demi here with a discussion video on the proposed potential change to Vault Pact, which was accidentally revealed by IGN in a very, very bad video done by an interviewer that doesn't know shit about the game. But that being said. This is the video, which I'll have linked in the description to this video, so like, we'll just, we're just gonna skip ahead to where they start showing the skill tree. Quite a large oh my web goodness! Of, <laughs> web of options here. Now all the character classes share the same tree, and you can travel from one to another. Um, part of it so you can see Vault Pact down here. Right. Blue splash. here. This is a pure uh, dexterity, um, Ranger, but she's gone up to the north near where the witch is in an attempt to get some skills from up there. In this case, um, some critical strike. Come on, dude. Uh, show the, show the bottom reminds part. me a lot of the Final Fantasy X Sphere Grid. Was it, there a lot he has of, literally uh, no idea he's talking about it at all. This. This but but that, that aside. Absolutely see the comparison. Having yeah. not played Final Fantasy X myself, I'd look at that and it functions a little bit different. There it is. So, he mouses over this and just leaves the cursor here. And this shows us quite a few things. That's kind of really important, I think, for the skill tree and for the future of this game in general. So the new Vault Pact says life leech per second is doubled, maximum life leech rate is doubled, life regeneration has no effect on allocated, right? So the current Vault Pact gives you instant leech, but only from life. It says gain life from leech instantly, life regen has no effect. So the current Vault Pact does not work with Ghost Reaver. It does not work at all with Energy Shield. You cannot instantly leech Energy Shield in the current 3.0 patch, right? because this says gain life instantly. Now if this change is actually what Volpact is going to be, which we don't know if this is like a test client, if this is an early access client, if they're just testing something along these lines, but this version of it, it says life leech per second is doubled, and maximum life leech rate is doubled. It doesn't say anything about gaining life instantly, or like, there's no instant leech anymore, but it does mean that the leech rate can be applied to energy shield. With that wording, it will be able to be used with Ghost Reaver, so you can get double your life leech rate with the new vault pact even though it's way down here it's like right here that's a huge deal because that means that we'll see people bring back the uh attack es builds or caster es builds that relied on vault pack style leech um we don't know if there's any other changes coming for leech rate across the board so i'm not really sure how much this is going to affect the game but like, allowing Leech to happen to Energy Shield faster is going to be huge, because the current cap is 20% of your maximum life Leech per second, right? So if I had, say, 5,000 life, the maximum that I can currently get with no bonuses on the tree, no Slayer, no anything, is 20%. I can Leech 1,000 life per second. But if you start adding in the, like, plus maximum life Leech per second to maximum life Leech rate, so this would put you to 25%. Uh, these two nodes would give you another 8%. That puts you up to 33%. Slayer gives you 10% currently in the Ascendancy, that puts you up to 43%, and then the new Vol Pact would put you up to 86% life leached per second, which is not exactly Vol Pact of the current version, the instant Vol Pact, but it's pretty, pretty damn close. So I don't know, we'll see. There's probably gonna be, if nothing else changes, if everything else is the exact same and they only move Vol Pact from here to here and give it the new stats, then we're going to see a huge Slayer meta, Slayer casters, Slayer attack builds, like everything's going to be Slayer, which I'm a little worried about. But I mean the current meta is just Berserker plus Vault Pact, or like any Barrage build with Vault Pact, Blade Flurry with Vault Pact, whatever. So I don't know, I'm okay with this. It's going to open up a lot of uh, build variety back. I'm really hopeful to see some ES builds come back out of this, because I'm really, like, I still play it attack ES builds, I still play caster ES builds, but most of the player base avoids it because of the fact that you can't get Volpack leech anymore. Instant leech for that matter, but it looks like if this is, if, again, this is all hypothetical, if this is what actually happens to the game and they remove instant leech via Volpact, that means that I think they're going to remove instant leech from things like Acuities, um, from things like Legacy Vinktars. Like, I don't think we're going to have access to Instant Leech anywhere else in the game. I'm trying to find my acuities. I don't know where they are. And that's okay, we'll just look at the uh, Vinktars. So this is a double Legacy Vinktars. It says gain life and mana from Leech instantly during Flask effect. 
I don't think this is going to stay the way it is. Um, a lot of people are, hype, are investing in items like this right now. Like acuities went from 30 to 40x. I think they're up to 80x right now. Let me check. Yeah, they're fixed price. Almost 90 exalts in Harbinger softcore. Like, that's ridiculous. Standard, they're like 70 plus. Like, they've tr almost doubled or tripled in price because of that fear. Uh, Vessel of Vingtars, I don't know if they've changed this much. We can look those up as well. It's hard to look up double legacy Vingtars, though. Vingtars. Hmm, how do I do that? I need a unique explicit 30% there you go. Yeah, so these are actually about the same. They've gone up a little bit. Actually, these are all RAM, he's just price fixing. Hard to say. If this if these are the real prices 180x, they've gone up a lot as well. Like this is not a real price. But these were around 60 to 80x. If they've gone up to 180x again because of that same fear that this is the that are going to be the only ways in the game to get instant leech, then I don't know what's going to happen. Like, with this one, you don't personally have a location on the grid. You can expand in any direct way. I wonder if Chris was like, "Dude, move your fucking mouse. We don't. We're not supposed to show that. Move your mouse, please." But yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I don't personally think that instant leech belongs in a game like this. For myself, I don't think that. It really makes sense for you to be able to instant leech. Because, like, it just removes all of the defensive opportunities in the game. Like, no one gives a shit about stacking defenses. All you have to do is stack effective HP, and then you get Vol Pact or an item such as Securities or Double Legacy Vingtars. And uh, you just sit there, and as long as you don't get one shot, you instantly leech back to full if you touch anything. With things like Cloaked in Savagery and the current Vol Pact, or like. Uh, Vingtars and Ziri's Promise, the Leech Nodes, Warlord's Mark, like there's enough sources of Leech that you can hit anything and we back up to full life with the current Vol Pact. And I don't think that makes sense for Path of Exile. I feel like they need to... they've realized that with is And they're going to just get rid of the uh, Instant Leech across the board. So that means that I think these are going to be changed to have the new Vol Pact Keystone on them. I'd like to see just like this node, these instead of the gain life or mana leech instantly node on crit, but I don't know how they'll do that. Like, I don't know if they can do that. I don't know if it Kazooie Security will go legacy. If it does, they're going to go even higher prices, of course. They'll probably go up to like 150, 200x, maybe even more than that, depending on how. Depending on if there's any other sources of instant leech. And then legacy Vinktars, I mean, these are double legacy, but they're pretty old now, I don't know. If they are enough of a supply to have the same effect, if not, it'll go even higher, like possibly 300x for something like this. I don't know, that's kind of it's kind of scary, but I mean, if you don't play standard, obviously you don't have to worry about that. I don't know, I, I'm really happy they're moving towards that direction, though. I don't think it ever made sense, especially with how much damage we can do. Like, if you can make 1% of your damage leached as life be enough to regen you to full instantly after every time you hit anything with the current ball pack. And we're getting more damage next league due to shaped and elder items with giving us like 5 and 6 link 3 links and 5 and 6 and 7 link 4 links in addition to our normal 6 links. Like, it's gonna scale our damage even higher because our clear skill is gonna be a 6 link and our single target is gonna be like an 8 link and things are just gonna go crazy. So I don't know, I hope they, they've made the correct decision there. I'm really like excited to see the 3.1 release, the actual full release notes, but we have to wait another week or two for that to happen. But yeah, I guess if you guys have any like thoughts on this, if you want to like share any information with me that I have missed, feel free to leave in the comments below this video. This has been a news update type thing for Path of Exile 3.1, and I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, thank you to my Patreons, and uh, that'll be damn me out.